Hello guys, how you doing today? I'm back with another video and um, today we're going to be installing FileZa on your jailbroken iPhone with Electra so it doesn't keep crashing because the uh, FileZa escape keeps crashing. But before we start the video, please make sure you subscribe, share and comment this video on this video. Uh, it does help me out a lot since I'm trying to start my channel. So um, please go ahead and do that and watch my other videos um, some of them are not really tech related uh, but I'm gonna have a good mix in there so first foremost to get start to get started with the video let's download this file which is in the description and let's have some access some SSH access to your phone either with WinSCP or CyberDuck on Mac so we're gonna go ahead and extract these zip file uh, while it's doing that, we're going to go to SSH, we're going to go to root, we're going to go to bootstrap bin. And there's a file called bash, and we're going to drag that to your desktop. Basically, it's just going to copy it. We're going to go back, back, and we're going to go to bin. And um, we are going to just copy that over, just like that. There we go. Now we're going to go back and our file has been extracted. So we're going to have two things. We're going to have files uh, app and we're going to have authorized. So we are going to go to applications and we're going to copy this files uh, app right there into applications. And once that's done, we have to copy over authorized.sh. Now, I wish uh, we could do that simultaneously, but we cannot. Um, so, like I said, while it's doing that, make sure you do subscribe. Um, it's almost done. Uh, by the way, I have the iPhone 10 on 11.1.2. 11 11 so, uh, Electra Beta 11. It does require Beta 11. Uh, because of all the sandboxing and all that good stuff. So make sure you're on the latest one. Um, just go to coolstar.org slash Electra. I believe that's what it is to download the latest beta. Um, he's coming out with Cydia uh, soon. He released the RC1 version, but it's only for developers. So uh, we are close, guys. We are close. Uh, time left, four seconds. Uh, longest four seconds of my life here. but. It is a okay. So we have, do we have it here? There we go. It's there. Now we're going to head back to root and we're going to head over and we're going to copy over authorize.sh. We're going to right click on it. We're going to go to properties and we're going to make sure this bad boy is 07777 and we're going to say okay. Now we need some command line uh, access. We can either use this puppy up here um, or we can use putty. I like putty better. So we're gonna go uh, here and use putty. We're gonna log in to your phone uh, with SSH, log in as root. Uh, password is Alpine, uh, but I changed mine. So should you, we're gonna do cd and then a little dash and then we're gonna do auto no we're gonna do bash authorize dot s h and it's gonna do its uh stuff which is basically it's gonna fix the permissions run ui cache and it's gonna respring um if it's doing it the correct way uh, you should pro not notice anything on your phone really so far. Um, it should. Uh, so now once it's doing that, I'm not going to do UI cache, but it didn't respring. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do kill all uh, springboard. Springboard. And I'm going to do a uh, little dash and then nine it's going to respring the phone and there you have it guys so that's that simple um like i said make sure you subscribe comment and share this video i'm trying to start my channel so i do 
appreciate it it means a lot for me and thanks for watching guys have a good day